The police say a Springdale transgender woman was killed in Pennsylvania yesterday after be being beaten to death by a man. Police say they were forced to shoot and kill him after he would not stop attacking her. According to a Pennsylvania State Police report, the woman was killed after an assault in New Wilmington yesterday. Now that town is north of Pittsburgh near the Ohio border. And according to investigators, the 24-year-old died after she was assaulted. Tonight, China Carrillo's family is struggling to cope with her death. Five News reporter Bailey Devane spoke with them this afternoon. She joins us live now. Bailey, it's been an emotional day for them. That's right. It has been a very emotional day, but the family graciously invited me inside to talk, although they're still grieving. And now China's mother tells me her family loved and supported her through many difficult trials in her life. And she had just moved to Pennsylvania a year ago to have a new beginning. He said there was an incident and uh, I said, is she a life? And he said, no. Carrillo says in a world where being different is looked down on, China was always apologetically herself. Carrillo says China was outspoken, fearless, and there was never a dull moment. She was the light. She was just so, she was just so amazing. You were part of her family, no matter what. You were a cousin, you were, and you were somebody. That was her, that was her everywhere she went. Despite personal difficulties, China's family says she had moved to New Wilmington trying to have a new beginning. They say she had lived there just over a year before she was killed. She was just passionate about being herself and showing others to be themselves. I remember the first time we, we took her to Pride Parade in Bayville, and it was like, this is my community. Pennsylvania State Police say yesterday afternoon they witnessed a male beating China with a blunt object. Police say the male refused to stop his attack, forcing them to shoot and kill the man. China later died from her injuries after being taken to the hospital. Police are trying to figure out what led up to the attack. There's a lot of people that don't understand that the being a transgender doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. The being a transgender, God doesn't love you. My kid was loved. My child was loved. The family is still grieving, but they say they're planning a memorial to celebrate China's life in the upcoming days. Live in Springdale, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. All right, thanks, Bailey. Police have not yet released the identity of China's attacker.